Hello guys, I'm here with Paul Dunstan, one of the top earners in Moog, and I wanted to put some questions to him, which I know a lot of you have as well. My first question is, um, obviously in an online sales business, maybe some people who think you've got to be a salesperson to be in a business. What would you say to that? Are you a salesperson? No, I mean, to a certain extent we are in the business of selling, but you don't actually need to be a salesperson, because right. what we're doing here is we're plugging into a system right. which does the selling for you. So all we are is we're people, and, and what you're doing is you're remembering that ordinary people are interested in this business, so they're going to buy more from an ordinary person who introduces them to a plug-in system than they are buying from some classy salesperson who they think, well, I can't, I can't emulate that. So, right. so no, you don't need to be a classy salesperson, you just need to be able to point people to a, a classy system. Okay, I like that. Another question I'm going to ask is, what about some people who want to make money online, but they actually say, well, I'm not IT techie, I'm not a developer, or I can't you know, code, I'm, you know, I can barely open you know, the email, or do Facebook. Do you have to be, because you're doing very well in the business, as far as I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. are you a technical IT techie? techie? No, not, not massively. I mean, there's, there's always people out there that if there's things you can't do, you can find someone who can help you do it. Okay. Um, but actually, again, this particular business, it's all done for you. There's a plug-in element to this, so all you need to do is follow simple instructions. And you mentioned about opening an email. Basically, if you can open and read an email, you can do this business. Okay. Okay. It's as simple as that. I know, similar to myself as well, you've got a background in sort of, you know, sort of traditional education field. Yeah. Some people out there may think, well, why would someone who's already earning a good salary want to not rely on a pension. Now, I know you've discussed this. Tell us why someone like yourself actually come from very good income. Yeah. Why, why for you was the pension alone not the only answer? Why did you even consider this? Uh, because I wanted more time. Um, I'd gone to a situation where I was working so much for someone else. I mean, I'm a teacher, right. and I'm giving all my time, all the, all the hours in the day and in the evening and the weekends, and preparing my lessons and these sorts of things. And I'd given all that time in order to earn the income, which is okay, and yeah, it's got a decent pension package, although that's getting a bit dicey mm -hmm. in, in teaching, but mm -hmm. uh, that's another story. But what I wanted was to be able to buy back my time freedom, right. so that instead of trading my time for money, I was, I was doing something and plugging into a system that would continue to pay me even when I stopped working. Right. So it's kind of, it, I, was, I was looking for, for time freedom so that I could spend time with my family and, and recognize that that was right. coming back to me. Um, and of course, what it's done is to replace my income and it's looking better than my pension anyway, so that was just a bonus. But that was why I did it. I've gained the time and more income as a result of doing this. Got you, got you. Last question, there are those who might be thinking, I've tried this before with other businesses, sometimes you have the leaders who sort of hold, keep all their toys to themselves and don't really share yeah. the stuff that really matters. Do you, with your experience of Mobe, is it a company who buy the six, even seven figure income earners are people who don't really share their toys and just leave you to the squad, not like a it. pyramid or something? Yeah, far from it. What, what happens here is that, uh, you know, unlike lots of other businesses in this, this marketplace, um, there are events where the top earners do share exactly what they're doing. I mean, that's what you've seen with me. I've just spoken for, mm -hmm. for just over two hours on stage where I'm sharing exactly what I do to make money in this business. And I hold nothing back. And you'll find that with, with people in this business. It's a very caring community and, and there's room for everybody to succeed. Super. Paul, thank you for your time. I know my readers will really appreciate that. So your candor as well. So. No problem. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Take care. Oh, yeah.